Hi, welcome to Schulte Sweetie's YouTube channel. My name is Stephanie and I'm a mom of three girls ages 12, 8, and 5. Um, today I wanted to share a little bit about a math that we have started using. The story is like um, my middle daughter who is going into third grade this year. Um, in second grade, um, it was probably about February or March. Uh, she just had some issues where like it, the curriculum we were using was just not working well. Um, it was overwhelming her and like it was teaching things in a weird way. Um, if you want more of the information, I can link the story up here so you can watch that video of why we switched from that math. So what we did, I had plans to start a new math for this next year, but we still had months left of our school year. So um, the math that I was going to switch to, the new level was coming out a little bit later um, for her. And so she, um, we just decided to like print off worksheets and I was teaching her different things, um, reviewing things that she's already learned, like time and money. Um, so we were just basically doing a lot of worksheets and stuff and I was like figuring out what we need to do. It was a little bit of a struggle on my end, but um, we were still progressing and moving forward. But I knew that I did not want to do that long term. Um, that was not what I was cut out for to um, schedule and plan all of that. I like open and go a lot more. Um, so I started looking into apology and math and um, this was not the original plan. I was actually leaning towards math with confidence at first because I hadn't really looked at apology and math. Um, I was leaning toward math with confidence, but like I said, the level wasn't coming out yet. And so we were still gonna wait. And then I was thinking about it and I thought if we are waiting now for math with confidence for level three, we will likely be waiting again because we will always be waiting for the next level. And I did not want that for her. She has high hopes to be a veterinarian and I know she will need math in the future. So I don't wanna hold her back. And I didn't want that to be holding her back and so I started looking at Apology and Math and um, I contacted them and they were kind and sent me um, a level in exchange for my honest review. I decided we got this, oh, April or so, I, I guess I can't remember, but she had about two to three weeks left of her school year and we decided, uh, we were both like excited to try it and jump into it and see what we thought. And I can just say we, loved it. Um, the math is a lot of hands-on. It has games pretty much, it seems like every lesson to introduce. It has usually like little games or something like hands-on to introduce the lesson. The lessons are short and in the student book. And then the pages, there's usually a couple pages worth of schoolwork to do um, to, from the lesson and it's not a lot. And there's the page like is it is not busy. <laughs> There's not too many problems on a page and um, we are just really enjoying it. We only got to about lesson 10, so we didn't get too far yet, um, but we really were liking it. She loved the games like so much so that we would be playing math, the math games outside of the lesson. Like she was like, can we play this game? Um, so one of the things, this is mastery based. So um, it just, goes from one topic and then you work on that for a while and then you go to the next topic. Um, multiplication and division is touched on a couple times in here though. And then what happens is, so this is the student book, this is where the lessons are and the game information and things and all the work pages, but then you need the teacher book because it does have a schedule of what you need to review the review pages that you would need um, are not included in here, but they do have a website. Um, once you have purchased it, they have a website and you can go and you have a passcode from these books and you can enter that and get book extras. So that would include at the end of the teacher's book, there are some like pages you might need for some of the activities. So you could print those off because instead of tearing them out, 
um, you have like access to a bunch of worksheets or um, games and things to practice those review things. Like it's, um, you would be reviewing double digit adding, um, mul different multiplication, telling time and things. So um, I do appreciate that that is in there. And then, like I said, you need the, um, you have the answers in here and then also those extra pages. So you need both of these. Um, there is currently, this is um, the end of June. There is currently a sale I saw on their website um, that is 25% off and then free shipping over $150. Um, it doesn't look like there needs to be a promo code and you can, it will already take it off. And the sale seems to be going until the end of August is what their website says. So um, definitely check them out. I have a link down below. It is an affiliate link um, that costs you nothing extra, but it will just help me um, get a little bit of money for helping share this. So um, that is the main thing I'm going to flip through in just a second of the pages. I will also say that Catherine Gomes, who has created this, she is very active on Facebook and Instagram, I think. And um, she shares a lot. She is a, I, th I believe, a second generation homeschooler. So she has a podcast actually with her mom too. But then she um, has been working through this with her own children. And um, she is just like always answering questions. One question I had was with my daughter wanting to go into be a veterinarian, like, is this going to be like setting her up for success? Um, Currently, they only have, um, I think it's one through five, and they're going to, I think they're going to do level K and six. So um, I don't believe they're doing middle school and high school, but who knows, they might. Um, so she answered back and said that she had um, in mind, as she created this, she had in mind that whoever used this could set themselves up to go into like a STEAM profession so science profession um so i was excited about that and um we are just really loving it um so i will do a flip through of the books okay so this is going to be the level three apology of math uh this is the student book um i also found out that they um have it kind of themed with uh like the different sciences. So this level is themed with different um, flying objects for the like birds and different things that they have for that science. Um, so we got our table of contents here. Um, you're gonna have addition and then subtracting up to 1000, multiplication, division, data and measurement, more multiplication and division. So they go back to it fractions and geometry and that is it um so then this goes kind of in in explaining it then at the beginning of each unit is when they kind of have like the stuff about like the bible verses and like a little story but um i've been told you don't really have to do it and honestly like we kind of skipped over it when we started this um this book so you don't have to do that. That is pretty much where you're gonna hear, like, because Apologia is a Christian company and that's where you're gonna like see things about God. So if you are a secular family, you don't have to do that and you pretty much will not um, take away, you won't have anything wrong with this. Um, so what happens is there's like a game and this is the game teaching the lesson basically. And then there's some practice. There is like, this is like a little bit of the lesson as well. Um, so that was actually, so there was, we started with this page with the game. That's typically how you start is with a game or an activity. Um, and then a little bit of the lesson. And then this had two practice pages. So this is the next lesson, le lesson two. You're gonna do um, the game. And then you have some practice pages, but the practice pages are like, don't take very long. So um, we really appreciate that. I don't know why my daughter cut this page out. <laughs> I think there was an animal or something she wanted to cut out. Um, so 
the practice pages, there are like two usually, but like they're not all the time though, because this one, love, lesson four, there was a game and then there is a um, just one practice page, but there's quite a few on this one to practice. So this was rounding. Um, so they're practicing a lot of the skills, like she's learned some of these skills already, and so she's just kind of honing in on them. Um, so I will skip to, we're going to keep, one thing that I wanted to point out, like a lot of times if they need number cards, they'll just suggest using Uno cards. Like you don't have to get a lot of like extra um, like manipulatives for this. Like if you like have those number cards, um, there's really not a ton of things. Uh, Catherine Gomes, the author, does go through some different manipulatives that she has suggested and that, um, so she has a video on that. I'll see if I can link that. Um, so this is the end of unit one. So we've gone through two chapters to get to the end of this unit and they are going to be setting up a lemonade stand and it goes through like different things about this lemonade stand and like different questions and how you could order the supplies and different things. So um, I appreciate that this like goes along with it, but it's just something different to incorporate that math. So there are different projects after each um, unit. So not after each chapter. Let's see if I can find another one here. But um, so they have different, this is how like they're doing arrays for multiplication. Some more multiplication work. There's like a bingo. They like to play bingo. Okay, so here's another project. This looks to be similar to the other one kind of relating to it. So this is selling your lemonade and how you will go about that. So um, I'm assuming this would be for multiplication. And then like we're going into division here. So um, it seems to be like a gentle way of teaching these things. So I will just kind of go back to the back, I guess, here. So we got fractions and we got perimeter and area that they're working on. So they have these, you know, um, these cubes that you can get, the linking cubes. Um, so that just some easy things that you can have on hand, but not like a huge kit and expensive kit, <laughs> especially. Um, so this is the teacher guide. And like I said, you do need the teacher guide um, to go to use this properly. Um, this is the schedule that they're gonna have week by week and tells you what skills. So the skills are what you will be reviewing. Like the skills practice for lesson 10 would be subtracting two digit numbers. And then they move like, this would be adding three digit numbers. And you're gonna keep going like multiplication or telling time. So you are reviewing things like it might not have these things in every lesson, but you're reviewing them still. Like my middle should know how to tell time, but we're gonna be reviewing it these weeks and stuff. And maybe we might need to spend a little bit extra time reviewing that if she forgets things. Um, so this just gives a table of contents, the schedule, how to teach this, a daily skills overview. And then you're kind of going through like a supplies list of what you might need in this unit, like um, supply list, note cards, number cards, paper clip, two dice, base 10. That's for the skills practices. Um, for the chapter one, you need five pennies, three dice, colored pencils, numbered cards, such as Uno cards, scissors, and base 10 blocks, which those are easily bought for like $10, $15 at the most. Um, chapter two, you're going to need three dice, colored pencils, base 10 blocks, scissors, glue, numbered cards, a paper clip, and 30 pennies. So you are not needing a lot of extras. This is where they, they have the answers and things. So I'm just going to skip ahead and show you. These are the extra pages that you will need for a lot of them. Um, so there are some colored pages in here and some different activity sheets that you will need for some of like the games and activities from the student book. So there's a clock. So that is pretty much, and you can get these um, off of their extras page on their website. 
So I hope that this was helpful to you and um, let me know if you have any questions. There's a link below to um, Apologia's math courses and um, I would be glad to answer any questions that I can. I hope you have a great day. Bye.